It has been one week now since eight tornadoes hit Tennessee and Kentucky. Six lives were lost and thousands of buildings and homes destroyed. Cleanup has been happening all week long. Amelia Young is here now with details on how you can help today. I know a lot of people have been out already this week, but this weekend is a good uh, time to come out and do it as well. Yeah, Jennifer, a really good time for folks that maybe were working during the week and wanted to help out their neighbors with the cleanup process. This morning, we're standing in the parking lot really of what was the Community Baptist Church uh, right here in Madison. You can see not a lot left, but of course, they just have a lot of cleanup just to get all this debris out of the way. Of course, a lot of folks going to be here at this site and just really across the mid-state where some of these tornadoes touch down. There's going to be a lot of volunteer opportunities today. Hands on Nashville is looking for volunteers from 10 to three to help with debris removal, canvassing damaged homes with assistance information, also handing out essential items to survivors. That's all happening in Davidson County, of course, mainly focusing right here in Madison. They're looking for about 100 volunteers to fill these spots, and if you're bilingual, they really want you to consider signing up. They're really in need of folks who can speak both English and Spanish for some of these communities to get folks the help that they really need. For those in Clarksville, there are plenty of opportunities up there for cleanup efforts. Mosaic Church is organizing these. We've been talking about Mosaic Church all week long. When you register, you'll get texts and emails with opportunities to volunteer and where. It's important to note that even if all the volunteer spots fill up this weekend, there of course can still be plenty in the coming weeks and months, so make sure to keep out your eye out for that. Uh, and just make sure when you're going to some of these volunteer opportunities to make sure you're bringing gloves, wearing proper footwear, just because there's still a lot of nails on the ground and you don't want that uh, to get through your shoes, so just make sure you're dressing not only for the weather, uh, but also also for uh, the condition and situation that you're going to be in to make sure that you're staying safe. But if you'd like to find a link, want to send that to a neighbor, family or friend, you can find that this morning on our website, newschannel5.com.